All right, I've got one to start. So do you. Mm-hmm. So do you. Um, one to mm-hmm. me. Okay. Um. Yeah, good morning. And, and I'll even show you. I'll say, look, and I will punch up all the, the, I mean, shockingly enough, I think this time I actually managed to hit, or it depends on how my cards go. Uh, I mean, I'm looking to hit like a really nice, you know, display. I mean, I, I, I can even with like a, you know, Villa doesn't have my old finger typing problem. <laughs> So on the phone, so it's just like, you know, the, the, the licking split, you know, fingers, you know, and, and, and I've got a slideshow already. I've got a slideshow right here. I see. Um, so, so modern savvy everything. Modern savvy. Oh, and don't forget to. Yes. Um, and since he going to try to make me talk to Carl. Yes. So. Carl seems implicated. There yeah. you go. And and you want to uh, buy another one? Keep it two, two, two. Somebody is going to. Well, <laughs> here we go. You I, want I, I, you're just such a stand-up <laughs> villain. So yeah, no <laughs> a villain. <laughs> I don't know. He's, 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 he's taking the moral great. high ground this time. He's trying to keep yeah. his friends together. He's yeah. doing great. <laughs> exactly. Oh, but like. Behind the scenes, I'm pulling all of the strings here. <laughs> I kind of like the fact that he's really not being manipulative so much as having a big influence. Yeah. Right. That's how I see it. Runa is Runa. Okay, okay, everybody happy? Yep. Let's see. Oh, fuck. Oh, I get those we two both back. Succeed. I get all of them back. Oh, you get them all back. Excellent. <laughs> I get them all back. Excellent. See? Yeah. I wrote that. it on the. Uh huh. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> the budget con- continues. Um, okay, so I succeed. You succeed. Mm-hmm. And I narrate. Yes. Right. Um, so. I do have an idea, though. I'm wel- definitely welcome to hear ideas. Yes. Uh, we, we come to like an agreement that if you call Isabella, I'm gonna talk to Carl. Right, right, Ex- yeah, no, mm-hmm. it's a, exactly. We both we both get what we yes. want. So, mm-hmm. so we uh, after after futile battering, f- after futile <laughs> efforts to overcome the other one's resistance. Fine, um, <laughs> it's it's very much like the uh, you know. Well, I if you put it that way, I guess I, I should just call her then. And you're kind of like, well, if you put it that way, I guess I should just talk to Carl then. And we realize that we both, you know, um, and I think I think it might end with both of us kind of looking at each other puzzled. Wait, did we both just get what we wanted? Right. That's funny. I felt like I lost. How did that happen? <laughs> well, you have to talk to him. No, that's, that's exactly it. Yeah. We both got what we didn't want, more or less. Um, exactly. Mm-hmm. You scratch his back, he scratches yours. So I want to play that out. Um, my take. Uh, Just no right. Well, I, th- I think that's how I see it going. To continue from there. Mm-hmm. Um. What I see from Villa is that he he hits the he he's got uh, you know the notebook up he's got his phone out uh, he's opened up his mom's desk computer as well which how did he do that <clears throat> because <laughs> and uh, and and so. All of those are like up and he's got, you know, two hands working all of them and the file is, you know, working its way up. Um, and, uh, oh, and it's, and it's very infographic heavy. 
So not so much on the natural beauty. You know, the pictures are of mind ores, not of beautiful hillsides. Mm -hmm. Right. So, and, and applications, batteries, mm -hmm. certain you know, chips, um, and uh, and so yeah, that's that's how I know I'm going, but I'm not going to talk for where you go or what you do. And that's that's past the conflict. So, mm -hmm. with me talking to Carl or like you know, whatever you want, I mean, whatever you say you do next, I don't I don't know what it is. Is it because that was like you showing me so I can talk to Carl? No, no, I've, this is just what I do He's after I to, after we part ways. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but after we part ways, uh, I'm gonna go talk to Carl, mm -hmm. like meeting up his at his uh, his apartment mm -hmm. and be like, so. Bill and I talked. <laughs> okay. He has an idea. I'm gonna like the uh, presentation about the the mine and all that. Mm hmm So okay, I can talk to him. Sure. You think he wants an internship? Probably. Like I'm not entirely sure what what he wants right now, but I I would appreciate if you talk to him because he yeah. seemed he seemed very eager about it. Well, he seems a smart guy, so why not? Yeah, I think we can close the scene there. So, yeah. mm -hmm. so nobody knows what <laughs> that phone call is going to end in. Good. Your turn. Yeah, um, trying to keep from like taking the screen presence above its, you know, above its punching. Everybody run right? is yeah. kind of yeah not yeah. easy. Yeah, I think we take um, a break after that because mm -hmm. um, yes. I'm thinking that. Uh, Okay, this is going to be a little off. I'm not quite sure just how... I think this is legitimate by the rules. Mm -hmm. That... Uh, and, and if it's above what you think mm -hmm. the screen presence is... We'll figure out. Warranting it, you, we'll you, you were telling me, yeah. then you can mm -hmm. tell me. But uh, basically that... Uh, uh, boy, I'm breaking... I don't know if I'm breaking rules by doing this. You can try to Maybe figure not. that out. Uh, well, I know another character whom I want in this scene, and that mm -hmm. would be okay. Gideon. Mm -hmm. And the the scene that I have is in the middle of the night, um, where uh, uh, he's he's awakened or maybe still awake in in his very 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 familiar and secure family home um, and uh, is okay so he's that, that's what I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say the scene I'm going to say to open it he's there and a brooding presence in the woods available you know visible mm -hmm. up the hill um, and uh, is, is evident um, which, uh, mm -hmm. um, okay, so to say that, that quote, I'm in this scene, that's, it might be a little surreal. He came to the window and like stepped out. It's one of these things you can walk out on. Uh -huh. Uh, because it looked like he saw somebody standing there and it looked like me. Well, that's interesting. So he's, he's, he feels like 
that there's that kid, there's that boy that she was talking about. Mm. And she uh, don't think yeah. it's really against the rules. Well, especially because but by I'm putting myself there, I am saying it uh, is Vila in yes. some way. Yeah. Yes. In some that's, awesome. that's, Maybe not yes. in a literal, literal, literal way, but in terms of magical realism, <clears throat> yes. So it's not, I don't think it breaks any rules. I think, yeah. Because mm. I think it's part of the love. Yeah, that's yeah. that's what I'm aiming at. And yeah. we are not going to be certain who's really out there, I assume. Well, when he, so, so it's up to you to play him, so that's up to you to say what he does. I'm playing Gideon. Yeah. But you are playing. The villainous. The villainous. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. I, I don't think we break any rules, and if we do, I don't care about the rules. Okay, so what, what does so he I do? Really, yeah. uh, uh, I, I really like this. So, middle of the night, but late. So, he's still trying to catch up on work. Uh, so, he's sitting in his office, and he has a he kind of sees the lawn and the terrain rising up to the woods and he sees the outlines of the woods and he thinks he sh saw some kind of light and shadow out there so he's getting up and opening the door and looking around and trying to get his bearings. What did he see and why does he feel that something happens that you should know about this does he have a gun no so it's, it's <laughs> sweden yeah so it's he's so is he outside the window or inside the window right now he's still inside he's kind of on, on so the my face in. looks if you look at it it looks like there's a like i'm just on the other side and that that it's me looking in the window young man Come over here for a moment. Maybe he hears someone say, Gubiebo, come on out. Mm. What did Gideon ever do to you? <laughs> Gideon actually has a kind of stick, a heavy stick, close to the door, so he's grabbing that and getting out, but still not moving. What are you doing here? Who are you? Silence. I want to be a part of the sea. You want to be a part of the sea? Okay. That's mine. Yeah. Also because of the oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I get I get my <laughs> Swedish bonus. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's my reward system for learning about a Swedish. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. You can work on the pronunciation with Gubiel. <laughs> yeah. It's glorious. Not right now. Um so okay, he's still he's actually looking up the facade to to make sure he isn't waking. Mm -hmm. Isabella and then realizes he may if he start continues yelling. Mm -hmm. So he is walking into the direction of where he mm -hmm. thinks you are. I think as Isabella walks up to a window. Um, is she? Ha I don't think she actually fell asleep. She is not feeling very good right now. Sleeping is hard, mm -hmm. so she's hobbling up to the window uh, of a room. And looking and seeing Gideon leave out the door, right? Yeah, it's basically one of these screen doors you have at your. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking that it's that it's actually on an upper story. Is that or yeah? Or, okay, he, right. He's so you can walk out on the yeah. That's what I'm thinking. He's walking yeah. down there. Yeah. Okay. So no, um, everything is not no, nothing is littered in that house. So it's right. kind of. <laughs> okay. Um, 
So, uh, so he perfect. is making his yeah. way over the lawn to where mm -hmm. he thinks you are. Mm -hmm. um, and the uh, uh, that's when you know the visions hit him. He's walking here, you know, a thousand years, two thousand years ago. And, and sort of like these, these surrealistic flashes, like with a, a given step, he's like walking and the whole scene shifts around him. It's, it's well, no, it's, it's a rugged land. It's not his mansion. It's, uh, there's uh, uh, a butchered goat ritually sacrificed. There's, uh, you know, it's, it's a, a freaky set of experienced visions that he's suddenly having he stops in his tracks looks around seems slightly confused but not very concerned mm. okay so you can handle modern technique i see that But I want to know what you, what you are doing here. So stop with this visual fireworks and get here and talk to me. Um, okay. So the question is whether he has a stroke now from the uh, <laughs> the, the the impact yeah. of the past, <coughs> you know, suddenly overwhelming him and being caught up in the subject of some occult ritual from two thousand years ago. So you want a conflict? I do. Yes, you get it. I am hitting him with the magical past. The occult, or the hidden, that's the word I want. The hidden ancient past. Mm -hmm. And Isabella wants to, to help him. To... So you want in there. Yeah, I, I want your, in there. Your part. So your stakes are giving him an art of Yeah, uh-huh. Some yeah. some sort of systemic, uh, potentially fatal, potentially. Maybe I think not quite now so we are hitting where the rules wouldn't really work, <laughs> because that's not really the stakes, or is it? Yeah, it is. I want him out of the. This is it. I want uh, him out mm -hmm. of the picture in terms. I'm removing him from mm -hmm. power in terms of this village. Mm -hmm. This guy's got to mm -hmm. go. Mm -hmm. Some part of Villa wants that, and it's mm -hmm. not the one who was talking a few minutes ago. And you thought I was the evil character. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a second, so I remember I think next time I think where we are going, <laughs> before we are going into a phase where we are starting to kind of ruin the scene, screen presence of everybody. Right, true, um, true. That's why I'm keeping this, you know, for all we know. You don't have to die from a heart yeah. attack. Yeah, and, well, not only that, but, but for all we know, uh, you know, Gideon's just old. old. Yes. It's maybe not a heart attack, more stroke. Yeah. Isabella? Uh, she wants to... Like, she's starting to think if he's acting this way too, there's probably something fishy going on. So she wants to be there and help him and make sure he's okay. So let me get this straight. Isabella doesn't see anything looking like Villa down there. Like, she's just seeing her grandfather behaving funny. That's how I see it. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Me too. Just mm -hmm. so. Yeah, but remember, we could both succeed. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm trying to figure out how this looks. Mm -hmm. But I, I have a way to work it if, if we both succeed. Okay. In that case, yeah. okay. Well, then we're good. Mm -hmm. We're good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I haven't thought it through, but I'm pretty sure I could too. I'm just making sure we know that's possible. 